Hi guys and welcome to TechFurb. Today I have to come clean about a problem that uh, needs to be addressed. I may have a slight PC hoarding problem. Yeah, that's a lot of computers. Bunch of old Core 2s. So, today's video, we're gonna go through these, clean them up, and uh, see what's working, see what we keep, and throw out what we don't. All right, so I guess we just start going through them. So, uh, this is a DC7700, uh, it's an old Core 2. Uh, what else have we got? A mounted PC that has a hard drive dangling in it. You know what, I don't even know what this is. XP license, yep, yeah, that's modern. So Lenovo, I know this takes DDR3, so at the moment this is winning the uh, title of not the oldest, I guess. Got the Flex 7755, yep, sure. Oh, it says a Windows 7 license on it. That's nice. Not the Plex 380, okay, maybe that's a little bit more modern. I'll have a look at that. And it's in one piece. That's the only one that's in one piece apart from the HP. Aha! This is an AMD build. It's, I use that case in some builds, I guess. Oh, I'd forgotten about this. This is actually pretty cool. I've been wanting to do this video for a while. Uh, it's a Pentium 4, one of the original Pentium 4s. So this is a socket uh, 478 CPU. So that's pre-775, uh, which all the Core 2s, the Pentium Ds and Pentium 4s on. So that, that PC is from like 2001. So I wanted to do a video on that, but I think when I tested it, uh, the hard drive, I couldn't install Windows XP on it because the hard drive might have bad sectors or something. It's an old IDE drive, so it's pretty common for... I was probably a kid when that hard drive was made. That's how old it is. What else have we got in here? More PCs. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one's an empty case, okay. Hey, this bad boy. You guys may not remember this, you may not have seen the video, but I actually did my first video on this, uh, transferring small, small form factor 745 or 755 into this bigger case. Uh, it was one of my first videos actually, so it um, wasn't that fantastic in hindsight, but uh, hey, you gotta start somewhere. So, this is uh, all the PCs I had in the cupboard. Uh, I still have another PC case over there that has I don't know what in it that I need to go through. Uh, project that I never published. It was a, it was a fun, little, um, fun little PC I built. And we also have an old server that I picked up as well over there. And of course my main rig, test bench, all the parts. So basically we're gonna go through this stuff, uh, test it, see what's good, and uh, if you guys want me to, I'll do a follow-up video uh, where I can benchmark some of these and, and try and put some modern parts in them. So uh, let's go through it. All right guys, so we're just gonna go through the systems now. Uh, so we're gonna start off with the DC7700. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with them, I'll just pull all the parts out of them. Probably to pick the best two, um, fill them up with good RAM, fill them up with hard drives, and then the rest I might just sell or give away, or I'm not sure, but uh, we'll work that out when we come to it, I guess. So, ripping that bad boy off. That. What do we got in here? Uh, SATA DVD, floppy drive. <laughs> floppy drive, oh my goodness. Uh, what do we got for a RAM? 512, one gig, 512. Wow, three gig of RAM, all right. Pretty low spec. Guess we should fire it up and see if it works. Uh, so yeah, that boots in the window, it's fantastic. Hmm. All right, so uh, this one, 
appears to not be outputting a display, so that's not off to a great start. So, usually when that happens, this next step from here is to start pulling RAM out, I guess. Gig, all right, so rocking one gig of RAM, uh, most likely to not be dead, is probably gonna be this. So with these old systems, basically, you kind of, the starter's gotta leave them unplugged because they decide to power themselves on whatever the hell they want. Uh, but also, you kind of have to look at them in a certain way to get them to work sometimes. Um, dodgy RAM sticks are pretty common. For example, this one now powers up after changing the RAM. Uh, I actually don't know what's in this system. We've got a hard drive in it. I think it might be running ESXi. I could be wrong. Okay, so it looks like this one's got an 80 gig hard drive in it. Um, it's still in working condition, so that's the main thing. It still boots, it still posts. Uh, I haven't got a Windows install on it, so I can't test that, but uh, we will leave that at that for now, and uh, we'll come back to him. All right, so this one's the Optiflex 380. Now, I've never looked at this system. I just picked it up uh, for free. It did have the Windows 7 license on it. So, I'm curious to see what's inside of here. So, oh, that's a graphics card with HDMI. Uh, Seagate 320 gig. Okay, that's pretty good. Four gig stick of DDR3 RAM. Heck yeah. All right, this looks like a decent spec system for an older Core 2. So let's see what the CPU is. Let's get this guy powered on. Okay, so it's got a dead battery. That's all right. Can fix that. Yeah. All in all, not a bad system, just a bit old, but uh, we can we can make this work, I think. This is probably my pick of the bunch so far. So yeah, double thumbs up for this one. Hmm. All right, so this is Optiplex 755. Um, one of the last ones I have, I got rid of a bunch of these before, so I'm assuming it's still working. Uh, it's only got two DIMMs in it. It's got a 400 gig hard drive just sitting there randomly, so that doesn't fill me with confidence. All right, so it looks like this system's a bit of a dud, so this one's gonna get canned. Uh, so let's just, uh, we're just gonna gut it. Uh, if I find there's anything worth keeping, I'll, I'll take it out, but uh, E6550, that's one of the first Core 2s. That's really not worth the time. Two gig of memory, there's two one gig sticks. Yeah, I'll pull those out out of just not wastefulness, but uh, I feel like this one is bound for curb, I guess. So, uh, all right, so next up is the Lenovo. Now this guy, I've had for some time, I actually bought this uh, some time ago. It does run DDR3 RAM. So let's see if it posts. All right, so this only has two gig of RAM, which is strange for DDR3. So I'm just gonna pop the lid on this guy and see what's up with that. Yeah, so we have two one gig uh, DDR3 DIMMs. So they're pretty much useless. Um, I think this can go to a newer, better place, to be honest. I think we should sell this system. So um, I might pull the hard drive out and I uh, might kit this up and uh, I'll sell it on to a person who needs it more than me. I won't charge them a lot for it, but uh, yeah, um, it's in working condition. So that's good news. We've had success rates so far. All right, guys, so I've finished going through all the systems now and uh, I've decided to straight up get rid of two. Uh, so there's a 775. Uh, it's still in working condition, but it's a bit dodgy. Uh, so I'll put it up on Gumtree for free. Someone can have it if they want it. Uh, the other one was pretty much knackered. Uh, it's not worth putting effort into, so that one will go straight to the bin. Um, I did take the AM2. <laughs> yes, AM2, for those of you who are watching and actually know what that is. Um, it is a Athlon X2, no. It's an Athlon 64 X2 4800 plus. Uh, those are actually pre me being in, in, involved in IT. Um, I remember coming into the IT scene and, and uh, the Core 2 had already crushed AMD at that point. Uh, and I never really touched AMD until 2010, but that's a, that's a story for another day. So, uh, out of the remaining systems, uh, the 755, the only reason I haven't gotten rid of this guy is because 
it's in the larger chassis and it's a BTX model. So I might be able to actually strip the motherboards out of any one of these three and put it into that case. So uh, the hardware is a little bit dodgy in the 755, but I'll do some testing on it, make sure the RAM's okay. Uh, and if I can get that working, I'll keep that, chuck a couple extra hard drives in it, maybe use it as a NAS or something. Uh, I'll do a follow-up video on this. I've, I think I want to do that, um, of what I'll do with these systems in more detail. Uh, as for the 380, that's probably the cream of the crop in terms of it's in good condition. So I might, uh, I don't know, I might upgrade the RAM or I might just leave it at four gig, but put two, four, two, two gig stims in it and take the good uh, four gig DDR3 stick out of it because they are handy. Uh, and uh, has a dedicated GPU. It's, I mean, physically it looks in good condition. So this could be a good little media PC. Uh, I could use it as a rendering box. I haven't really made up my mind yet. I might drop the Core 2 Quad in it and go for gold. Uh, other than that system, we then have a, the IBM, which is in working order. It's missing a DVD drive, but I can fix that up. I'm gonna sell that guy. Uh, I don't know how much I'll get for it. Probably 20, 30 bucks would be quite reasonable for that system. Uh, I don't think I'll upgrade the RAM. I'll just sell it as is, uh, and someone can pick it up and, and do whatever the heck they want with it. It's a working system, it's all theirs. Uh, and the 7700, I think, it's still in good order, it still works quite well. Uh, I might set it up as a spare XP machine or, or something. I, I haven't really figured out what I want to do with that system, but that, that is handy to have around. I've used it in LANs and that sort of stuff as a NAS uh, and even a CloneZilla server. Again, I'll do a video on that one day. That's pretty cool software that allows you to clone uh, systems. So you can copy hard drives from one system and then uh, you do it over the network, deploy it to a new system, or you can deploy it to multiple systems at once. It's, it's pretty cool. Uh, I knew it quite well in a past life working in a uh, secondhand computer shop, setting up computers for sale. Again, more life stories, but uh, overall pretty good haul. Uh, I really think I can't really, I don't really want to cull it any low on this. And for those of you who are thinking of getting into IT, old systems like this are fantastic for it because uh, I do have my main rig over there, the Ryzen 7, it's, it's ridiculously over the top, does everything I need. But when I started out, I didn't have anything like that. When I started out, I had a just a, a knackered old, uh, it was a Pentium 4 at the time when Core 2s were a thing. And I just learnt uh, the tools of the trade on just old junk like this sort of stuff. But back then, this was all cutting edge back then, which is kind of depressing, but uh, anyway, I'm old, I accept it. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'm not really sure where to go with this video now, so I might just end it here. Uh, sorry, it's not a normal one, it's more of just a cleaning vlog. Uh, and yeah, so thanks for watching guys. Leave a like if you liked it, leave a dislike if you disliked it. Uh, leave a comment down below if there's anything you want me to add or, or update. Uh, again, this isn't a typical tech fur video. I just had a bunch of stuff in the cupboard I wanted to clean out and I thought, hey, why not make a video of all this stuff and you guys can get a bit of a behind the scenes sort of look at uh, what my office is like. I mean, you've, you've seen pretty much every corner of it now. I've, I've set it up uh, for all different things. So uh, without further ado, thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next one.